Welcome to Learn Daily with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a Jupyter Notebook to a Streamlit app. Now, before we get into it, I should say that I know that these two tools are complementary and we don't need to choose one or the other. In fact, I find myself using Jupyter much more when we're focused on the code and teaching people how to do stuff, whereas Streamlit is more a tool for telling stories. Um, we're going to start with this Jupyter Notebook here, which is looking at the Apache Pino Baseball Quick Start. And we're kind of working through it, and you can see we've got a few data frames, and we've got some charts. And we want to get that into Streamlit, so we're going to use this tool called Jupytext. Now, Jupytext is used for converting notebooks to a variety of markdown formats or scripts, but what we're going to use it for is to get it to a Python file. And so we're going to call the command, we'll pass in the name of the notebook, and then we'll indicate where we want the Python file to go. And now let's open VS Code and have a look at the resulting file. And so if we scroll through it, you can kind of see that we've got the code, and any places where there was markdown has now been commented out. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to run this in Streamlit. And I'm doing everything in Docker these days, so we're going to have a look at the Docker files. And so this Docker file here is a way to run Streamlit, and you can see we're pulling in an app.py, and we've got a requirement. So let's have a look at that requirements text. So you can see it's got Streamlit, it's got PinoDB, the Python library for Pino, and it's got Plotly as well. And then the, the last thing we need to know is what network do we need to attach our Streamlit container to? And so let's just go and have a look at Docker Compose. So this is where Jupyter Notebook and uh, Apache Pino are running, and we can see down the bottom there's the name, the name of the network that we're going to use. And we've actually already created an image, it's called Pino Streamlet, and so if we come over to the command line, we now, can now call docker run, connect to the right network, mount that Python file to app.py, and then make sure that port 8501 is open so that we can uh, look at the Streamlit app locally. And so let's open that in our browser. And if we scroll through, we can actually see there's already some stuff. So we've got the schema, we've got the data frames, but the charts are actually not working at the moment. So that's something to, that we need to look at. So let's go back to VS Code. And let's start by importing Streamlit at the top. Uh, and what we'll do next is we're going to use the st.markdown function to, uh, to render the text that is currently commented out. So we'll start with the header, let's do the intro text, and if we scroll down the file, there's some stuff that we want to comment out, so we don't really want to iterate through that cursor, that's actually outputting stuff to the terminal, so let's get rid of that, and we'll comment out the schema and the description as well. Uh, and now we're down to the data frame, so you can see where it says df, and df is actually the same as doing st.dataframe and passing in the data frame, but we can also render it as a, as a table using st.table. If you do it like that, it will be a static table. And if we go back to the UI, we can see what it looks like. So you can see with a, with a data frame, we can actually click on the different columns and we can sort by those columns, whereas with the table, it's completely static data. We can also render codes. If we come back to VS Code, we can see, look, we can just put in that, that query there as markdown, the markdown format for code. And if we come back to the UI, you can see, there we go, we got code as well. And we would be able to click that and put it in the, um, in the clipboard as well. So we can actually like, kind of achieve some similar things as what we would do with Jupyter. Now we need to fix those charts. So we're going to come down to the charts and we're going to call st.plotly chart to fix them and we'll comment out that the old line that was there. And the other thing we'll do is we're going to make the year configurable. So what we'll do is we'll create an st select box. So this is like a drop down and we'll hard code a few years in there. And if we come back to the UI, uh, we can now see that you can select a different year and you can view the, the stats from that particular year. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull those years from a query instead of hard coding them. So let's come back into VS Code and we'll write a query that pulls those years in. And then finally, we can go back to the UI and have a look what, what things look like when we've got the automatic list of years. And so that's the end of this video in which we've learned how to convert a Jupyter Notebook to a Streamlit app. Uh, if you found the video useful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so you'll learn when I produce new videos. And if you have any ideas for new things that I should cover or any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.